Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan Nose Tech from techinform.us, and today we're going to talk about the iWork suite. I think I've mentioned this before, may have done some videos back on the old channel about it, but I'm going to redo it now with iWork 2009. We have not seen iWork 2011, it's probably just around the corner, and it's stupid to make this video now. But, uh, but we'll see, we'll look at it. Today we're going to look at pages. There's pages, keynote, and numbers, as you can see in the bottom of my dock there. Um, and we're going to go over pages today. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll probably knock out Keynote, and then next Monday, we'll kick off the week with numbers. For anybody that might not know, this is Apple's answer to Microsoft Office. Pages is like Microsoft Word. Keynote is pretty much PowerPoint, and then numbers is your uh, Excel equivalent. It's 80 bucks from Apple. It's definitely more affordable than Microsoft Office. I think it's faster. I think it works better. And uh, there's pretty much no question that it looks better, at least Microsoft Office 2008 for Mac. So upon opening pages, you're going to find this, a massive array of templates. There's actually 180 different templates here you can choose from. The good news is 99.5% of the time, you're going to be using the blank one basic template, that's all you get with Word, I think. I don't know if there's very many templates with Word at all. But uh, if you do want to come over here, you can do resumes. And then you have all these resume, Tokyo, Dublin, Vienna, traditional resume, typewriter resume, Milano, Woodland, San Francisco, Park Avenue. There's tons of resumes here. Poster resumes, I don't know what I just said. Uh, you've got posters, business cards, certificates. Really cool to be able to do all this stuff from one application. So this kind of limits the need for Microsoft Publisher. So coming back up to all, just scroll all the way back up there to the top, click on blank, and choose. And there is our new blank document from Pages. It looks really, really, really basic, but it really isn't. You can do a lot with it. So here's your ba basic text editor. We can just go ahead and type in some text here. All right, then it's pretty straightforward from here. You can highlight it, come up here, change your font size. Tons of fonts available. Of course, you can just install it on your Mac. Uh, one thing I do like about uh, Pages over Microsoft Office is you actually get the sample instead of just the word sample and sample, that the, uh, the name of the font is in the font that it is. So um, the font that we used to use on TechInform was actually copper plate gothic, I think we used bold. So there that is, that's in bold, change your your font, this is only available in bold since it's a bold font. Over there, that's where you change your alignment up there in the top right. Double space, you can do 1.1 through 5 or 2 space. Fonts, colors. Here's what's cool. The media integration is awesome here. Just click on media. Boom, it's going to go right into Aperture. How about we tell it to go to iPhoto, Events. We'll go into this Apple album I used, used to use for wallpapers. Here's the uh, Leopard wallpaper. Then we'll just drag it in there. And there it is. Close the inspector, let's say below the text, and then we get these lines, just like we do in iLife. And that'll help organize it on a X and Y plane so it's centered right. There it is. And we can use these corners here on the side to shrink it while keeping it in aspect. Notice it doesn't lose its correct ratio. If we go back into the inspector, blue button on the top, you have all of these options here. You can make it a hyperlink, put in a graph, put in a table, that's super intuitive. Or one of these, I think it's this one, possibly that one. You can put shadows and reflections and really cool effects. And I will say that uh, obviously it makes it look better, but if you try to save this as a .doc and then go put it on your PC, maybe you want to do a presentation at work or at school and you want to use these effects, um, sometimes I've had them not work. I think the reflections do work in Microsoft Office 2010 and anything in the future after that. But uh, with Office 2003 and XP, I've noticed that uh, some of them don't work. That would just be compatibility and pretty much Microsoft's fault for not knowing what that is. But again, it's old software. So uh, Inspector works really well. Colors, here we've got a color wheel. We can change our font to whatever the hell we want. We have text boxes, all these tools up at the top, even more stuff to go through. I can't go through every feature here, but anything you'd ever want this application to do, it can do, it's fast. Um, my only complaint, my only complaint is that the, the application does not autosave. So if I were to quit this and uh, don't save, there's no temporary file anywhere. That's what I love about Office, and they've done that forever. They autosave to temporary directories. So if your computer crashes, your battery's dead, the application just randomly quits as it tends to do in Windows Vista and before. Um, then you then you don't lose it because it's saved. But 
I don't know why they haven't figured out how to do that. I'm sure that'll be coming in the next version. But I have actually um, quit instead of closed, and then I click Do Not Save by accident because I'm used to doing that for temporary stuff. So then I lost my whole report or whatever I was working on, which was really frustrating. And I actually did type that one up on the PC after that. So just launched it again and choose, and, and there we are with our new document. But again, super easy, um, very compatible. If we were to type up some massive document here, we could go up to File, Save. We'll save it, how about to the desktop? Save copy as a Word document or an iWork, iWork 08 document. We'll do a Word document, that'll be a .doc, and we'll call it Test. So there is the test.doc. There, fully compatible, fully editable on a PC, or really any Word application that is remotely advanced. Now, if we save it as the standard file size for pages, call this one test2 to the desktop, it will save it as a .pages file, which, guess what, is only going to work in iLife 2009, I'm going to guess, since there's an option to save for 2008. Never had 2008, never tried it, but uh, there that is. So don't make that mistake and save it and bring it to work or bring it to school and plug it in the PC or Mac with Office Word on it, Microsoft Office for Mac on it, and uh, it's not going to know what it is. You can probably go f find some way to convert it online, but it would save a lot of trouble to uh, remember to save it as a .doc. I know somebody asked if you can uh, set MLA formats and other formats like that. If there isn't a template for it, which I'm not going to look through 180 templates. If there isn't a template for it, it's super easy to do manually up here. Drag your margins with this uh, blue slider up there. Lots of columns. You can do columns if for some reason you wanted to do that. And then your line spacing is here. Click on Show More. You can make it whatever you want. It's so basic yet so advanced at the same time. That's just what I love about Apple products. So that's the review for today. That would be uh, Pages from the iWork suite. I will compliment uh, one more thing here. Well, a couple more things. You've got an outline. I know that some schools, I remember back in the day, we had to make outlines. You can do that here. And then full screen, which is great if you are uh, maybe a little easily distracted like I am. You can put it in full screen here and do everything like that. Just a nicer way of looking at it. Press escape to get rid of that. And then you've got even more options under view here. So I'll say it again. Great program. I do recommend it's only 80 bucks for all three programs. That's definitely a lot nicer than Microsoft Office, uh, even for Mac and, of course, PC. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you like the content. Like, thumbs up, all that stuff. Leave me a comment. Be sure to check out our site on the way out. It's www.techinform.us. You can read my post that I just wrote about everything we just talked about on our site there. Then my Twitter for more information and all kinds of updates is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then be sure to catch me live next Tuesday night from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.